All right, so now what we're gonna do is create proxies for our TV show playlists and our season playlists. So to do this, it's really simple. We're gonna jump into models.py and do class TV show proxy. And of course it takes in the playlist itself and class meta and proxy being true. Okay, and then class season proxy takes in playlist and then class meta proxy equals to true. Okay, so of course it's the TV show season proxy. So maybe we want to call this TV show season proxy just to be a little bit more verbose. And then in the actual verbose name, we can just call this season and then verbose name plural, call it seasons. And perhaps the same thing being true, we don't need to show that it's a proxy so we can just say TV show and TV shows. Cool. So now that I've got these proxies, there is maybe something else I wanna do here and that is class TV show proxy manager takes in models.manager. In fact, I actually am going to inherit from the playlist manager, the default manager that I have there. And I'm gonna override the all method. And in this case, I'm gonna return self.get query set and then dot filter. And in this case, I wanna do parent is null being true. Okay, because we have a TV show being that the parent method or whatever the TV show is, it won't have a parent, right? So no matter what, the TV show will not have a parent. So that's why we're doing that. And we'll go ahead and do objects equals to that TV show proxy manager. Okay, so same kind of concept being true for the TV show season manager. So TV show season manager, but this time is null is false. Okay, so there we go. Objects equals to that, great. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and run our migrations. So Python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py mi migrate and python manage.py test. Looking good so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the TV show proxy first into our admin. So TV show proxy, and it's gonna be identical to this one or close to identical to this one, except I'm not gonna have the playlist in line, playlist item in line. So TV show proxy admin, TV show proxy, and there we go. Okay, so we save that and let's run the server. Python manage.py, run server. And let's go into our playlist. Now I've got TV shows here and we're still getting the same proxy. Okay, so it's actually giving us still of the parent the TV show proxy parent is null being true, uh, it's actually not correct, right? So this one right here actually has the incorrect parent item here. Um, so let's go ahead and change this in a couple different ways. But before I do, I actually wanna test this. So python manage.py shell, let's go ahead and import the TV show proxy itself. So from playlists.models, we're gonna go import that TV show proxy and do query set objects.all and QS, huh, why is it giving me two different things? Well, the admin doesn't necessarily follow that query set. So let's just be explicit on the query set we want for it. And in this case, we'll just return the TV show proxy.objects.all. And the query set method is actually get query set in here and it also takes in the request as another argument here. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and run the server. So python manage.py run server. Okay, so we refresh in here. Now it's back to being just two. Okay, so we can do the same thing with the seasons proxy. But what I actually wanna do first is have this as an inline. So similar to like what we did with the playlist item, we'll come back to that in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do class TV show season proxy inline. 
and this is admin.tabular inline. And the model is gonna be the TV show, extra being zero, and then the actual fields that I want. So in this case, I want order, uh, title, and maybe state. Okay, so those are the fields that we had that are probably most relevant to this. Okay, so I definitely do not need the parent element because of how foreign keys work in the admin, it wouldn't render anyway. Uh, the order I want, the title I want, I don't want videos or anything like that because this is just an inline, this is gonna go along with the TV show, so we'll go ahead and do inlines is equal to that. Great, so far so good. Let's refresh in here, I'm gonna click on any given uh, TV show and I've got the office in here and I've got one season. So I added this uh, off video, but let's go ahead and add another one. So season two and we'll say publish and we hit save. Uh, notice that I'm getting a error or field required on this TV show proxy. So that means there's a couple things wrong. Number one, parent itself should not actually have uh, a required field. It shouldn't be required. So we'll have to change that. But well, before I even do that, what I wanna do also is inside of the TV show proxy admin, I wanna add in the fields that I actually want, which in this case will be title, description, video, uh, slug, and state and active. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try and remember that off of the top of our heads. So title, um, description, state, video, that's the featured video. Uh, and then maybe slug. Okay, so let's go ahead and look back in here. And now, we, now we've got a little bit better of what I was hoping for. So let's go ahead and bring in season two now, make this publish, hit save and continue. And sure enough, it works. Okay, great. Um, so now that we've got this TV show admin, if I go back in here, uh, the unfortunate thing is I actually have no way to see the seasons themselves to add videos to those seasons. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is actually add in a, another one. This one's actually gonna emulate the original playlist a lot closer uh, in the sense that it will have that playlist item in line, at least for now, that's what we'll call it. Uh, but I'm also gonna use the TV show proxy admin instead of the playlist or the original playlist. And I'll just call this season episode in line. Okay, uh, so now we should actually have the TV show season show up as well. So if I refresh in there, I've got seasons now, and this is showing me, well, it's showing me all those playlists again. So yet again, I need to update the query set method, the default query set method for what's showing up there. And this time it's TV show season proxy. Okay, so we refresh in here. Uh, and now I can actually go into, you know, the office season one. Now, of course, this actually doesn't look great. So we'll go ahead and do list display and I'm gonna give it a title and then we'll go ahead and give it a parent, whatever the parent is. So we'll refresh inside of seasons. Now I see that it says playlist object. So perhaps I wanna give it a little bit of a better name there. Uh, I'm not gonna do that just yet. You'll see why in a little bit. But now I've got the office season one. So these are actually the same thing, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna go back into my TV shows and do the same thing and give my title in here. So let's go ahead and do list display and title. Okay, so I've got two of these. Let's go ahead and just delete one of them. Doesn't actually matter which one. Now, of course, if I go into seasons now, I see season one and two, but back into TV shows, it actually set all of those old ones as null, right? Uh, so this actually gives us one of the problems that we actually currently have with this uh, setup or how these proxies work. So we've got null being true in here and that's why we actually see those other season playlists, but I can go ahead and delete these as well. Okay, so now I only have one TV show with two seasons. Okay, so if we go back into playlists, We've got, oops, rather back into seasons. We now see the seasons of these things. And what I would wanna do with this is just add a class underscore underscore str 
And what this is gonna do for us, or not class, but define str, we wanna return self.title. And what that's gonna do is nothing. <laughs> that's because I actually need to add this on to here. Okay, so we add that on there, and now it actually shows me what the parent is. So this will also be true when I go into TV shows now. Uh, if I actually had the parent showing up, it would. If I go into playlists, it now shows me all of the different playlists that are currently available. Uh, but of course, I want actually TV shows and seasons, and then inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and be able to edit the different episodes that are corresponding to these seasons. But right now it just says playlist items. Uh, but now I can actually have season one has one episode or one video in it. And then um, the TV shows now have two, uh, two seasons. One season has one episode. So total of one total episode inside of this TV show. But as you can see, using these proxies actually give us a huge benefit. But we're actually missing one major thing on these playlists is the type. Right, so we wanna actually add a type field in the playlist itself so we can have a little bit more robust proxies. Our proxies are fine, but we actually want to declare it a little bit more specific because in some cases, yeah, maybe it's only gonna be the parent items. That might be true. But in other cases, maybe it's not. Maybe we actually have a, TV, a movie that has several parts, part one, two, and three, and that's still considered one big movie. So it might be a playlist, not actually a TV show. So we do wanna add one more field in here. So let's do that now.